Oh, well, hello there. You must be our audience. Welcome to Discovery Channel's Nature. Today, we'll be learning about bears. We'll be learning about bears in their natural habitat. And today, we'll be finding bears in their natural habitat. Did you guys hear that? Follow me. I think I've heard a bear in its natural habitat. Yes, over here. There's a bear in its natural habitat. Let's follow after, but we will have a hard time keeping up since bears are very quick on their feet. Come on. Drats, it got away. Since the creation of this preserve, humans, more specifically, the tourists, have been encroaching on the territory of the bear and infringing upon their natural habitat. Bears are running out of resources now, and it's a dangerous time for the bears, thanks to people like this. Oh! Now we love bears around here, and we frown upon people hunting bears, but people hunt bears every day. And we caught up with some real life, some real life hunters who hunt bears every day in their natural habitat. Sir, what are you doing out here? Hunting bears. Why on earth would you want to do a thing like that? Who doesn't like hunting bears? Well, any kind, good-hearted citizen. You saying I ain't a kind, good-hearted citizen? I believe I am, sir. But anyway, you're dressed awfully strange to be a hunter, aren't you? What's wrong with the way I dress? Well, typically don't hunters dress in camouflage with a bright orange vest? Bears ain't looking for hunters if you're dressed up like an office assistant. Touche, sir. Touche. Now, I know that you may have came to the show to hear about waterfowl, such as the wood duck, the hooded mersinger, the blue-winged teal, well, that's repetitive. Or the kill deer, vicious bird. But we're not going to find any of these out here because this is the natural habitat of the bear. Come, come, quickly. Here we find a bear at the watering hole in its natural environment. Fascinating. Come on, let's see what the commotion's about up here. Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, Mr. Park Rancher. Yeah. What do we have here? This looks like a like a blackboard. Yeah. This this here's a bear school. A a bear school. Wait a minute. You're a park ranger. Yeah. Why are you dressed in that tie and those nice clothes? Well, bears are usually afraid of park rangers, like in that yogi bear. But if you dress like an office assistant, they're more kindly drawn to you. Ah, oh, interesting. You and that hunter seem to have the same personality. Hunter? What hunter? I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways. Anyway, okay. Well, this here's a bear school. Yeah. What, do, what do bears learn about in we, bear school? Uh, we rehabilitate them here. After they are caught in human areas, they are tagged and 
we try to re rehabilitate them here, let them back in the wild, but if they are drawn back, then they die. We kill them. Oh. Wow. Good luck with that. Do you have many students here? Uh, just, just one. There she is. Oh. Wow. Bears need to stick to their natural habitat. Here we found a bear that's in captivity. You see, this bear has been caught twice. And as the park ranger said, once a bear has been caught twice, it's sentenced to execution. What a pitiful sight. If only. If only the bear had known to stay in its natural environment. Oh, what a lovely sign. See here? This sign means no cars in that pond. What a great way to keep the bear's natural environment safe. Let's go try and get an interview with an actual bear in its natural environment. Excuse me. <laughs> Please no! Please no! Don't have to ah! oh, That was a close one. Obviously, we're gonna have to find a different approach. Hey, wait a minute. Excuse me, Mr. Hunter. Oh, wait. You're the park ranger. Yeah. Okay. Well, we were trying to get an interview with the bear. Okay. Well, wow. You don't seem surprised. Anyway. We tried to go up to the bear and talk to it. The bear tried to attack us. Yeah. You think you can help us out in getting that interview? Well, you could use my tie, look like an office assistant. They'll seem to calm him down. Capital idea. There you go. Thank you. I think we found the solution. Come on. Excuse me, Mr. Bear. Mr. Bear? Oh. Uh, hello there. Yeah. Ah, why, thank you. I found this at Dillard's. Yeah. Uh, right. Now, were you the bear that we saw over at the bear school earlier? Right. Ah, right. Why were you in the bear school? Right. Right, 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 right. Really? Right. Wow. Well, why would you do something like that? Right, 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 right. They're encroaching on your natural environment? Rawr. Wow, what jerks. Rawr. I mean, obviously they don't like you coming in their natural environment. Rawr. Otherwise, you wouldn't be a bear school. Rawr. Huh. The things you learned. So, on today's episode, we learned that bears should stay in their natural environment. Rawr, 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 rawr. That's right. <laughs>